Okay guys, welcome to a night Wednesday night edition at Rivera Urban Homestead. So, we got the harvested the broccoli. What do we do with the rest of the plants? Well, I'm about to show you. It ain't just for chickens. You can eat the leaves, you can eat the plants of the broccoli. So, don't just use the broccoli head. Eat some of these leaves. I'll show you how. First, I'm going to harvest some. All right, guys, look at these big, beautiful leaves, man. This broccoli, <laughs> these leaves are great. So what we're going to do is we're going to wash them off. Almost like the kale chips last night. I know, the kale chips. <laughs> that didn't go so well. I think this is going to go a little better because we're going to do a little sautéing on this stuff. Almost make it like greens in a pan. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to rinse it off. We're going to dry it, we're going to de-stem once again, take these big old stems out, all the way up till it thins out. And then we'll cut them up and we'll show you how to cook them. And I did harvest some more kale, so we're going to mix kale and uh, broccoli leaves and make some greens for our pork chops tonight. Okay guys, and as we know the broccoli florets are very nutritious good beta carotene and stuff like that but just so you know the leaves are also an excellent source of nutrition man um, they actually have higher beta carotene they say than the florets and they also contain the phyto some phytonutrients that aren't even found in the stems or the florets so I mean incorporate these into your diet even with cabbage the same thing cabbage broccoli you could use these leaves, collards, it's all the same pretty much family. So cook with these leaves and uh, get some different nutrients in you. And again, just like the kale, slide it right off the stem. Then once we pile them up, just roll them like a burrito. And then cut them. Perfect. The kale's small enough, we can just leave it. We don't have to cut that. All right, so just like that, you just layer them up, roll them up, and cut them. It just makes it a lot quicker. Okay, so we got everything cut up. A half an onion cut up. Got some olive oil in our pan with about a, what did you say, about a tablespoon of butter? Mm -hmm. About a tablespoon of butter in there. Let that melt down. Once that melts down, we're going to put our onions in. Some cloves of garlic. We're going to let that kind of cook a little. Once the um, onions get like translucent, clear, then we're going to take all this, put it in there, let it simmer for about, I don't know what, 10 minutes or so? Less than that. With the lid on, maybe a little less than that with the lid on. Then after that, you add a little chicken stock. Turn the heat down. Turn the heat down and let it simmer for about maybe a half hour. Wow. You kind of test it, 40 minutes. So right now we're just letting, we're watching the buttermelt. Isn't that exciting? It's almost like watching paint dry, just a little different. Alright, so we let the onions sweat down a little. We're gonna mince up a couple of cloves of garlic. All right, add the greens. And then mix it into that butter, olive oil, garlic, onions. That's a wonderful smell, man. Just butter, garlic, and onions.
Uh, well, we're gonna add the chicken broth right now then. Then we'll put the lid on and let it simmer, right? Mm -hmm. And right now we're cooking it at a low heat, like four on our thing, so yeah. medium low. Looking good, smelling really good too. Okay, so the greens have been on for I think about 40 minutes or so. We've been checking them. Let's take a look here. Oh. Really cooked down. You could feel a little bit that the broccoli leaves could still cook a little more. But we're ready to eat, so some nice onions, some broccoli greens. Hot. Mmm. Mm hmm. Wow, I tell you what, guys. You got broccoli plants? Don't just eat the floret and throw out the whole plant or put it in the compost or whatever. Eat it. It's nutritious, it's good for you, and. Wow. It tastes really good. So we're going to have that with some fried little pork chops. Oh yeah. Broccoli leaves and kale.